When you're assessed by a potential acquirer or an investor, they're gonna to wanna to know how you're gonna deliver this therapy to the potentially thousands or millions of patients who may need it. One of the important milestones that an investigator has to achieve is being able to demonstrate reproducibility of research in a laboratory scale with a process that has some potential to be scaled up. As you move forward, you're going to have to think, well, what are the pieces of equipment I'm going to need to accommodate perhaps a larger scale? What are the volumes that I'm going to need to accommodate this larger scale? What are the resources involved in growing this? really quite literally growing it larger. Cells that are being used for cell therapy across various indications are quite different from each other and each can have some pretty specialized requirements for growing them at truly you know, commercial scales. Adherent-based processes can be scaled out but are very difficult to scale up inherently. When we can, we try to bring to the table the ability to scale up using 3D culture systems. Scalability is not just a commercial problem, it's a clinical development problem. If you can only make enough cells for one patient, that's a process you probably shouldn't be taking into your initial clinical trials. We always have an eye towards scalability of the process because at some point, technologies will work. And we're facing this issue right now with CAR T-cell immunotherapeutics. As we're trying to move quickly into phase two and beyond trials, the field is scrambling to catch up with how to scale up those T-cell aminotherapeutics. Ultimately, once you get to large-scale clinical activity or to commercial activity, you must have fully qualified uh, supply chain and manufacturing processes. 